What's up? It's Paul here. I'm actually in the car again, <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm driving to another meeting and something else came to mind, which hopefully helps other people in leadership, uh, business and sales. But the idea is what are you using to keep yourself accountable? Do you have a tool? Do you have a methodology? Do you have a schedule? Do you have, a, you know, someone to keep you accountable? Hey, Eddie, what's up, buddy? Um, you know, I think it's an important part of either running a business um, or working in it is accountability. Everyone should be held accountable, whether you're the, the front desk girl or person, excuse me, that is answering the phone, uh, how many times does the phone ring before you answer it? Or if you are the CEO of your company, what is the tool that you're using to measure yourself as, as successful and the company? It's not always revenue, right? Revenue is a great, uh, I guess the best way to say it would be, a great way would be like a divining rod to say, hey, we are making money but how much are we really making in the backside? Are we burning out our people internally? Or is it affecting our bottom line because we have high turnover? Uh, which again, HR is a huge issue there, right? Hey Graham, what's up mate? Um, the, uh, the, the accountability is there for everybody. For sales, it's, it's still numbers, right? Like, are you making enough sales calls? Are you uh, dialing enough people? Are you emailing? Are you creating content that's relevant to your target? Um, when you're, are you getting proposals out on time? Are you, um, are you asking the right questions? Do you have the right marketing materials, right? How are you keeping yourself accountable? But just for anybody, what is your other accountability tool? So for me, I, I try to use this forum as an accountability tool, right? Like I'll put goals out there, uh, and I'll, I'll see them to the world like, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Here's what I'm trying to get um, and, and I'll get it done. But also like, you know, I write it all out, you know, like uh, for example, I have made an effort over the last year to make sure I'm up early. And the reason I do that is because with three kids, it's difficult to get stuff done in the afternoon. You know, both of you watching uh, know this very well. Um, you have a lot of responsibilities with your children and it gets it can be a, a big time consumption right so that accountability is in time as well right hey Frank what's up mate um, the the um, the accountability that we're we're asking for is like hey what are you doing well, here's my goal right so I wake up every morning at five o'clock I, I read uh, for a half an hour 40 minutes I put out my to-do list of what I'm going to do from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I work out from 7 a.m. till whenever I leave the house, um, I'm helping with the kids. When I work all day and then after I'm done with work, I uh, come home, try to spend some quality time with the kids, whether it's going to a sport with Nicholas or you know gymnastics or dance or whatever it is with the kids. Then after eight o'clock, when they're in bed, I circle back around and do what else I need to get done, right? So I keep myself on a, on a kind of rigid schedule. And it's malleable, right? But sometimes it, uh, it switches up. But the idea is that you need to make sure you're keeping yourself accountable. When the alarm goes off in the morning, do you hit snooze, right? It's probably one of the worst things you can do. You, you have about 15 seconds to push yourself out of, out of bed. Hey Matt, what's up, Carrie? Um, you know, and get up and get moving. And that's really what it is. So, you know, whether you're in sales or whether you're in, in business, it's keeping yourself accountable. I need to be at the office, in the desk, doing this at a certain time um, and making every effort to do it. You know, obviously there's changes in schedule and there's meetings and out of office meetings or, or family commitments you gotta do. But if you keep yourself to a schedule, it gives you more time back too. It's like we learned in rugby and I'll use it as a perfect example now that while you're down here to remind me and, and, and um, and Eddie and, and Graham is that when you go into contact you take contact under your terms 
The same thing goes on for your day and how you plan your day. You need to plan your day and attack the day under your terms, not the you know the day's terms. So making sure you're you're ready for travel. I need to get in the car, be on the road by 6 a.m. So I need to get up at 4.30 to get everything I need to get done beforehand uh, done, right? Um, you know, those are those are some of the things that help you keep accountable. Even if it's time management and being a small part of it, it's a huge part of what we do in business and in life and in sports and, and whatever you're equating it to. So how are you keeping yourself accountable? And I, I'd, I'd love to ask everybody out there watching if you could respond real quick. How are you keeping yourself accountable? What are you doing to keep yourself accountable? Do you have a booklet? Do you have a daily to-do list? Do you have um, post-it notes up on your mirror in the morning? Um, do you have uh, quarterly goals? Do you have yearly goals? What are they and how are you keeping yourself accountable? Um, I guess no one's really that engaged, but the idea is that accountability is an important part in how we operate and what we do every day. So uh, either way, I think uh, it's important and it's a tool that you should think about. And if you have any questions for me uh, on sales, uh, leadership, or business, let me know. I I'd love to help you in some way or form just to answer those questions for you here. Um, I'm going to try to do these daily or either every other day. Um, so try to keep me to it. If not, uh, make sure you're having a great day. You get after it every day and uh, you ring the bell. Have a good one. Cheers.